so today we are looking at the endless os latest version so i'm running it on a virtual machine which is a vmware with a 60 gb of hard disk 4 gb of ram and my cpu is i5 1240p So here is the welcome screen of the endless OS. So first you can choose the languages. There are plenty of languages available here. So I'm choosing the English United States as the default one. Click on next. So if you want to try endless OS, uh, you can click on try it or you can install by reformat. Uh, this is basically like a live boot and installation. So let's click on the try it first. And you have the typing of the keyboard choose your language here click on next uh, all, you can read all the agreement files here automatically save and send usage uh, statistics and problem rewards to endless i'm not going to check this and uh, click on accept privacy location service only on if you uh, only turn on this option when you want the location service it's always a good option so click on next and start using endless OS. so click on as you can see there is a warning any file any files you download or documents you create will be lost forever when you restart or shut down the computer this is because it's a live boot uh, you didn't install it on your hard disk or a virtual disk so that's the reason it's a warning if you install it you don't have to lose any of the files so this is a live boot so as soon as you restart it or uh, remove the iso file it's going to erase everything so that's the problem with the live boot so if you are trying to test it it's no problem you can test it on a live boot it's always a good option to uh, first check on the live boot and then go with the installation after you're satisfied without any bugs or any issues like that so let's click on start using endless OS right now As you can see as you can see there is a welcome app welcome to endless os 5 if you want to take a tour you can take a tour let's take a tour and see what are the changes and the iso file is around 18 gb do remember that and uh, there is also a basic version which is around like a 4 gb of file size so if you have like a, a limited internet connection or uh, you have like a a slow internet go with the basic so this file is around iso file is around like 18 to 19 gb so i'm going to show you all the official website uh, uh, available iso files and the language so start a tour and the version for the endless os right now is 5.1.1 which i already made a video of 5.1 and this is a point update so that ISO file, uh, that uh, video of uh, 5.1 is not with a voiceover. So if you want to watch that out, you can watch it in my channel. So that's already available in my channel. So click on start. So get an overview. Up and down for the overview. Left, right for workspaces. That's it. Let's close it. So let's first change the uh, display settings. Let's go to settings. So it's uh, pretty much uh, opening everything uh, instantly. So there is no lag or anything like that. And even the boot took like a just a few seconds, almost like a maybe 50 to 60 seconds nearly or a minute. So let's go to the about section. So this is all the information you get uh, my cpu is 12 gen which i already mentioned the operating system name is endless os 5.1.1 and the build id is here os type is a 64 bit and the gnome version is 41.3 which is pretty much old uh, but it's okay the memory is almost uh, 4 gb of ram already mentioned window operating system window system wayland virtualization vmware so let's close this thing let's open the system monitor let's see the system resources uh, because we need to see 
uh, in the beginning of the video so we can assume how much of resources it consumes throughout the video i'm going to place the system monitor in the right side corner so you can see all the changes throughout the video so right now it's almost like a 1.3 gb in the beginning or when we started the distro and the cpu is around like a 20 to 25 percent below 20 25 percent so which is pretty much almost like a, a mid-weight or uh, above the uh, lightweight as you can call it because the xfc lxqt lxd open box all those things will consume around like a nearly 500 to uh, 900 mb sometimes the xfc goes up to 1.1 gb even one uh, sometimes it goes to 1.8 gb in random cases but that's pretty odd but uh, it usually will be most of the kind of time it consumes like a 1.1 gb xfc is the default uh, it's almost like a 900 to 1.1 gb in every linux distro which has xfc desktop environment so these are the system resources i run until a minute usually uh, run the cpu till one minute and watch every graph here so the uh, graph of the cpu is almost stable which is uh, below 15 percent to 20 percent and memory is almost like a 1.3 gb and cache is like a 2.8 gb swap is 31.5 mb of uh, 6.1 gb so let's put the system monitor in the right side corner throughout the video so you can see all the changes so before that let's check all the process running right now so these are all the process running right now in the beginning so let me put it aside let's open the internet browser which is chromium you get the chromium web browser for the endless os So let's wait until the Chrome browser loads up and uh, let's go to their official website and get some of the information of the Endless OS. So reformat, here is the installer of the Endless OS. You can install after you're satisfied with the, uh, without any bugs or errors. Do remember this has like a older version of a GNOME. So it's, uh, it's uh, your uh, own, uh, like you can judge uh, whether to install this Linux distro or not. I'm not going to recommend or I'm not going to say you, you shouldn't use this Linux distro. It's clearly up to you to judge whether to use it or not. So do remember always check like a uh, three to four channels and uh, three to four videos different uh, from channels uh, of installing the endless OS or the latest version of the endless OS. So don't just check my channel and uh, try to install or uh, do anything like that it's always a good option to check like a uh, four to five channels uh, of different videos four to five different videos of uh, endless os so whether to use it or install it uh, on your uh, pc because uh, it's your pc you should remember and you should be uh, uh, careful while doing this thing so you need to take care of your own so that's the reason i say uh, you need to watch like a four to five channels and uh, go with the installation so let's go to the official website before that let's check the version of the chromium you get a 120.0 uh, version of the chromium so let's go to their official website which is endless os i'm using a vpn so that's the reason uh, you are getting all this uh, random language i don't know what country it is maybe indonesia i guess change it to english this is the website which is uh, endlessos.org so here is some of the description or the information of the endless os let us go, uh, go to the endless os so here you can see there is a download section and here is some of the information you can read everything if you want here how can i install on my computer you get all the information here here is the blog so here is complete uh, blog so let's get back to the download section click on download so quick installer for windows 
advanced download options in order to download the iso file you can go with the advanced option endless os direct iso download and in order to download for virtual machine go with the vm download and in order to download for the arm platforms like a raspberry pi all those things you can go with the arm download so i'm going with the iso download because i'm using a vmware you can either go with the virtual disk of a, like a vmdk file which will be available for the virtual machine like that so basic version you get is like around 3.57 gb of iso file and you get just a multi-language system with the basic tools and utilities recommended for computers that will have the access to the internet so if you have limited internet uh, internet you can go with the 3.57 uh, if you uh, consider yourself like a it's okay to download like a 4GB, you can go with it 4GB. If you want like a full uh, complete OS of uh, endless OS, you don't care of the internet, all those things. So you can go with the 19GB of uh, ISO file, which is the uh, ISO file which I'm using right now. So it's almost like a 19GB, which covers like a multi-language system. Here you can see preloaded with the apps in english including uh, games productivity software reference materials like a uh, cooking farming health travel and education materials like a uh, robust and close uh, encyclopedia all those things you get and i'm using an english version so it's uh, almost uh, uh, more than every uh, language is here the french one is almost like a 12.3 gb and the portuguese brazilian is uh, 15 gb and also the spanish is also 15 gb so these are all the downloads and uh, available uh, iso files in front of you i showed everything so let's close the uh, web browser let's open the terminal so you get everything uh, instead of before opening the terminal let's let me show you all the things so here is the endless key let me open and show you all those things too. So everything is working properly. So there is no bugs or anything like that, as you can see. So there is a bit of time consuming in opening the applications. So that's pretty much uh, okay. Let's check about the endless key. I don't know what happened. Let's wait for a few seconds here and see whether it will open or that was a bug or something like that. So I don't know what happened, it completely crashed. So here is completely black screen so i don't think i can make any uh, further of this uh, distro so i already made the version of 5.1 in my previous uh, uh, videos so if you want to check that out you can check that out full uh, videos so the point one update has crashed in my pc i don't know whether it works on your pc or not you can test it on your own but it crashed randomly and i've been waiting for a few hours almost so i don't think uh, i will uh, make a video i can't complete uh, this video so i think that's the end of the video thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out